he was hired in late April. And he has tried to piece things together through some adversity here. Play action fake, Nankill in trouble, and down he goes. Back at the midfield stripe. Jacob Jones and Elijah Ponder get there for Cal Poly's defense. Hey, if you're gonna watch Cal Poly this year, take a pen and a piece of paper. And Kicking's always been an issue, so let's see if they can line it up and put it through. 31-yard attempt, Noah Cerna knocks it through. And Cal Poly gets points on the first possession of 2023. The redshirt freshman out of Riverside has Cal Poly on the board first. One of those Opening. freshmen that saw time in four games and preserved the eligibility last season. There's Fletcher again with a crease. Troy Fletcher tiptoes down the sideline. Touchdown, Cal Poly. A 30-yard scamper. And the Mustangs find Pater for the first time this year. And the Mr. Fletcher. Get to the sideline, 2-1. Show him what to do. And flop it for six. Good job. New coordinators, new assistant coaches, just about everywhere for this San Diego program. Terreros dial up the blitz. Hewards going deep. And it's caught inside the 20. A diving grab made by Logan Boer. Well, that looked like a real football play right there. Let's see what happens here. So Heward, he's saying, let me get that ball out in front. Go get it, Logan. Keep those feet moving. Looking good. That's tough to come down and catch that ball, too, when you hit the ball. Say that again. Cal Poly starts first and 10 at the 10. Heward throws on the run. Got a man wide open at the 40. That is Carlton Brown, the Nevada transfer. Brown cuts it back. And Brown is driven down inside the five. The San Luis Obispo native from nearby Mission College Prep with a huge catch and run on his first Cal Poly reception. A field flipper from the 10 down to the San Diego three. Yep, and you're right. Look, guys downfield blocking. Cal Poly's on the doorstep. You're back to throw. Fires, end zone, touchdown! Tyrese Fairley Diam. Well, if you don't mind me saying, Chris, Tyrese Fairley Diam deserves that touchdown. Let me tell you why. Put seven more on the board for Cal Poly. A two touchdown lead for the Mustangs. Dom Nan killed the true freshman, seven of 12, 75 yards through the year in the first half. Pocket collapses on him quickly. And Cal Poly has another sack. Guess who? You guess who? Number 14, Elijah oh, Ponder. He seems to be in on just about every big play he that sure Cal does. Poly's defense. Third down, 10. Cal Poly brings the pressure. Nankill drops the ball. And the Mustangs have it. The first takeaway this year for the Cal Poly defense. Ask. And you shall receive. Let's see who knocks it out here. Talked about getting the ball. Oh, on a turnover. So he, he forced it and recovered it. Yep. Noah Cerna, one for two. And this one, accurate. And the redshirt freshman knocks through his second field goal. And feels like a win for the San Diego defense, but Cal Poly does go up 10. Yeah, yeah. And kill pumps under pressure and absolutely crunched back near the midfield stripe. Elijah Ponder, David Myers, and others trying to put the nail in the coffin. A handoff to Mark Biggins. Biggins cuts it back. He's free. Touchdown, Cal Poly. The fifth year senior runs in his first career score. Knifing through that defense, and giving the Mustangs a big time confidence boost. As I both mentioned they watched some of the Colorado School of Mines film just to get an idea of what they might see. So it's a lot of question marks today coming into this game. And 2011, the last time he served as a head coach in a Division I college football game. And the defense will add another sack to their afternoon total. This team has some takeaways of this second half, but a big first half fuels Cal Poly to a 17-point victory 
in the 2023 season opener. Final score from San Luis Obispo, Cal Poly 27, San Diego 10. And the Mustangs open the Paul Wolf era with the W. They, you know, they look, like Chris, you said it. They look good at times, they look great at times. Stan Heward looked great at times, and, and it was very difficult for him at times. So, see the coaches meeting up right there, and Coach Wolf and Coach Moore, a lot of respect on both sides.